Hey family, hey family, hey family. We are back with another video. Another video. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead on and pull our watermelon. Because if you watch previous videos, you know we had a corporate constantly eating our watermelons up. Tearing them up. So we're gonna go ahead on and pull what we have left. Okay? So guys, make sure you thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and let's jump on into this video. Y'all got it skewed, they got caught in the brick, y'all. So that's before me gave us. <laughs> Get it on in here. I'm gonna take him, take him. Let's see, let me see, let me see. Y'all see, we still got some blooms coming too, y'all. Look, look, y'all. So we ain't at the game yet, you. Need that soil, y'all. Gotta put that back. Gotta put that back. Go bowling with this junk. Yeah. Up, y'all. Hold on. Let me get in now before I get down there. Y'all see? Look. Come in and look close, baby. See that? Yeah, another one. We still in the game. Put me in the game, coach. Leave a little of that tendril on, that uh, umbilical cord. Can't eat them all at once. You try to sneak by me. Just pile it up right here while you're right here. Man, if I fall, don't y'all laugh. Because I know I don't need to be standing on this pad. Sounds good to me. They ain't that big, y'all, but we let them grow wild. So when you let them grow wild, they don't get as big as they could get. But, I mean, they just for us, so. It's enough for us. That one is beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're going to rinse them off up there. I got another one tucked in the bushes. What did it say? A ram in the bushes? I ain't ready yet. Oh, gotta put him down a little bit, y'all. Pumpkin up. <laughs> but it ain't. Them the different varieties of the cantaloupe melons. Those there. Ice box. I got a squeeze here. I'm all over here. See that one. Dang. Y'all, oh, they rain. God. They busted wide open. Brand new little baby. All oh, that rain we've been getting. Back to back. When we needed the rain, we didn't get none. Not none at all.
Like I say, we like like baby said, we let them grow wild, but it ain't that many of us, so they good enough for us. Wait the peaches, y'all. Wait the peaches get there. Yeah, cause she peaches been, been waiting. Oh, on the watermelons. Hopefully, I get better with how I grow them. Probably do one to two watermelons per plant, and then stop putting them all in the bed like this together. Cause the wildlife done ate us out of house and home. Period. But I'm a you know they ready when your little tendril dried up and you got you a little spot. And then you can just Yeah, I see that. I'm gonna take him anyway. Why? Just of the yeah. bottle. Get to the wasting, chickens. They're just wasting our energy. So we're going to get and plug him and get him on out the way out. Of. Yeah. That's all the rain. It need calcium. Which is some in there because I put oyster shells in my beds. All right, y'all. We're going to move on the rain. It's just all that doggone rain. You, you, see, you, you, you see, they just growing everywhere. He all over here. He don't even fall be over here. But I'm gonna let him be. I'll get him later. Leave more on there, as much as you can. He's big. That's a nice ice box. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I got a I got dig on in here. Yeah, I got a slide on in here, but make sure I don't step on my bed. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Now, we in this giant. We in the bed now, y'all. Now we finna really show y'all what the corporate been doing to us. Cause we just found, I just found another one. Trying to get everything out. But look how he been tearing us up, y'all. He got the whole watermelon. They been tearing them up. Look how he getting us, y'all. Tearing us up. Eating rind and all. Over there. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up the videos. <laughs> Peaches gonna love that one, y'all. That's something new, huh? Y'all gotta forgive my spot the new bug never seen it. And then it turned around and looked at me, y'all. Like, this is mine, but it's looking at me. <laughs> And then once we finish with this, uh, just eating us out of pole look. <laughs> It'll make no sense. Yeah, they done tow up a lot of watermelons. I know about 10, 15 watermelons. Dude, look at the little two two. He wasn't even on the vine. He just sitting over there alone. But then nobody mess with him though, y'all. Why go for the little one when you can get a bigger one? That's what they've been doing, getting the bigger ones. But yeah, once he finished getting all the watermelons out, I go through and all the vines that look like they dying off, 
I'm going to pull all those and all the ones that are still luscious green, I'm going to let them be. Heck, y'all. Let me get on in here and show you the little critic. He took a bite out of this one. Banana Anthony got into it. But I'm going to show you. I just found him. I'm around here snooping and hiding in the cush. That's one of those cantaloupe millings. He probably didn't like the taste. Oh. Yep, he took a good bite out of it. But the ants loving it. I ain't going to hold it too long. That's why I say it'd be sweet. He said, I ain't going to hold it too long for y'all. He said, he don't want the ants going up his damn arm. <laughs> Rap. They not ready. Everything on this still green. The vine, the tentacle, all that is still green. You can take them. Well, just like the watermelon, they were eating up the cantaloupe and the watermelon. When they eat them up and leave the rest, it be full of ants. So I know all of it is sweet. Woo. And this sun ain't been no joke. Yeah, we gonna leave him. I'm gonna put him on the ground. Nah, I put him in the bed. He to because that's where they kind of get them at on the ground. They don't really be in the bed. We done found like one or two um, ate up in the bed. Majority of them on the ground and on the sides where they get them. Hey, good. Y'all excuse my neighbor dog. Y'all excuse me, the most. Oh, he gonna beat out our big one? Oh no, have mercy. I see something. It's either him or the water. Who the other yeah. one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, it's busted open because of all it rain. Go ahead and take it. The tendril is uh, dried on it anyway. And we've ate them when they bust open it, the, um, like wherever they bust open it, we still eat them like that. You just cut that part off, it still be a good watermelon. It was like that last year when we had a lot of rain, but this year we had lots of rain. Nice size little watermelon. Nice side for a small piece in. It's another cantaloupe down here. Right here. Right here. And I gotta get out here and detangle all this mess. Already. No, it ain't ready. But then I'm getting too much wine. He nibbled out of it. Yeah. Yep. Just leave it there. It's still growing. It's done healed up and everything. This just all dried up, y'all. All dried up, y'all. And it's so little. I'm gonna have to get better with this. Cause they'll be bigger if I did better with this. But I mean, size don't matter. It's about the taste. This all dried up. I see a little hole in it. Oh, you got to go. Well, hold on, baby. Probably can cut that piece off. He done put them over there by himself. Gee. Oh, that one busted open. Who? Right here. Mm-hmm. I see it down there at the bottom. Then the seeds fell out of it. Hold it over here. That's the sun. 
That's what the sun do to them, y'all. When it's too hot, Ooh. it literally cooks the watermelon. Oh, it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that sun ain't ain't here to play with nobody this year. Ooh. And that's where we throw everything, y'all. Right over there. Give it back to the earth. Maybe some seeds will sprout out there or something. And they can leave our shit alone. Now it's pretty. I don't know if that's a... Yeah, that's a watermelon. It's pretty. It's dried up too. Yep, these the right size for us, y'all. In the oyster shells, we have not had to deal with uh blossom end rot is bad. The same oyster shells I give to the chickens. When you take it? Mm-hmm, it's ready. The size do not determine whether your watermelon is ready. Another way you know your stuff ready when everything get to eating on it. He just sitting down there in the cut. Mm -hmm. That's the second one you found just sitting out there. That mean the vine done dried up and it's done fell off the vine. I don't know now. I don't know if I want to take him, but he is looking kind of scrumptious. He look right to me. Well, one of the tendrils is drawed up, but another one on there ain't. So just leave it on there. Just set it in the bed. We'll wait till that one right next to it uh, dry up. And then I come out here and something done bit half of the shit and took it and ate it. So, so what I don't know there. Well, let's, hey, fingers crossed that don't happen, y'all. What you said? This, this is how I eat. And I done checked around. I'm going to get big guy right here. I go in the middle of the corner. Yep. Yeah. That's why I said I'm going to pull all the vines that's uh, shriveled up and dried up and leave all the luscious ones and see what else it'll give us. I ain't in no rush to pull it yet, y'all. Little side garden tour. Um, what, about a month ago, we did more beans. I did the, I don't know, I, I, I can't recall what it's actually called, but like the sister method where they do the corn and the beans together. I did that in this bed, and I did it in this bed over here. Now I got to come out here and uh, put more dirt around my uh, corn at the base because we've been having terrible, terrible storms. And it's just blowing everything, every which way. But yep, beans and corn in the first one and in the third one, we did. And then in this one, we got uh, Brussels sprouts coming up in this one. And I added a couple of onions and a couple of uh, garlics uh, in this one too. And I did it in between the corn and the beans in both of the corn and bean beds. Because onions and garlic do keep pissed down. I have tried it. It is proven. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of these cucumbers off of here. I'm going to tell you, we had, a, we had a rough time with our cucumbers. But look how they bounced back. They was little for a while, y'all. Mm -hmm. We thought we wasn't going to get nothing. Mm -hmm. But there was that you know, sun. They, they fought. They fought. Now I'm going to give you a preview of how they fought. <laughs> it shouldn't be that many because we've been eating them, y'all. I don't got to the <laughs> point now 
when I cook, I just come out here and get stuff and just throw it on in the pot with the damn food. That way, what yeah, we man. growing, we yeah, making man. sure we eating it. Chicken dinner. Please. Somebody said winner, winner, chicken dinner. This don't make no sense. But it came back hard, y'all. Huh? Yeah. Wow. I think that's the pickling uh, cucumber. I did that, and then I did a regular. Came back hard, y'all. Don't make no and they good, y'all. Really, really good. I ate more cucumbers off of this plant than I did on last year's plant. They made, they made a little snappy comeback. And look at all the blooms, y'all. They just blooms everywhere. Yep, and then it's, it was 66 degrees today. After it's been 100 every day. Over 100 every day. It's been 66. It was 66 today. So we decided to get on at her and do what we can do. See, that's the one he, he just took over. This is our little bit of one. He, he kind of struggling a little bit. No, I think this is the pickling com, uh, yeah, cucumber. Yeah, this is the pickling. He, he kind of struggling a little bit. He ain't jumped up there as much, but he did jump. But it's smelling like cucumbers over here. He did jump. Is that it? Gave us oh, two. I see a few more coming. They coming. They moving slow. But they coming. A few more coming. Let me take him on up a little bit through the little trailer. Try to help him out a little bit. And look how small they plant is, y'all. Compared to that one. You just took This them. one is huge. That one is small. But it's been giving um cucumbers. As small as it is. That one plant right here done took over the whole thing. That's one plant. One plant. And I see some more growing. Look at the stalk on it. That's the stalk right there, y'all. I think I'm going to have to keep that variety in rotation. Mm -hmm. The little pickles got some. As y'all can see, they got some right there. All right, y'all. So uh, let us get them washed off and then we'll show y'all in the end. Just to show y'all a quick look at the girls. We just put them up before we started doing the uh, watermelons. They've been out here balling and playing and everything else. The watermelon and cucumbers. Yep. Cause it's done scabbed over. They trying to see what we doing. Oh, but I know this heavy. 
and I forget what gallon this is, but this is the same gallon that the citrus tree is in. <laughs> Can you say watermelon and cucumbers and uh, cantaloupe and other kind of melons? I can't think about it. I'm going to link it right here. Baby done went and got the dolly. <laughs> to move the watermelons to the rain barrel. Got her. Is it heavy? Not really, but it's strong. Why work hard when you work small? Well, that's true. I told him, I said, that's the same barrel that the citrus tree is in. Oh, Lord, no. This is what we do it for. Another one of my uh, exciting times when it comes to growing your own food is that wait period because that's when you get a break. Yeah, I see it. As you can see, this is using rainwater. Finna rinse and clean them out. Y'all forgive me about the dog, my neighbor dog, but this is what we do. We out in the garden. Give me a few teeth. I'm gonna let this barrel fill up. Wife is gonna get another one, as you can see. And we're gonna watch the eat John Sava transfer. Yeah, y'all see, baby don't got the bucket. Now you see she in there digging in. She she couldn't wait. She ready, she ain't even let me get going first. She ready. Scrub a dub dub. In a tub. Look at that white man, yeah. Yeah, it got a little crack on it, but it ain't bad. Look at that. Yeah, I see it. This is what you do. Love garden, love what you do. Do it at the best you your ability. You hear me, y'all? Good nutrients, good food, healthy food. Better than going to the store, I tell you. Oh, baby, be gentle. It just fed, ain't it? All right, y'all. We gonna get these cleaned on up. Baby doing her thing. We'll be back with you in a couple of ticks. Now look y'all, we almost at the end. They starting to float. Look at that good vegetable, that good fruit. Here, get your song. Get myself on in here and look at and then you see, look look at the one I get the one that was stuck in the brick. That's some. It's okay. Just because it was stuck between the bricks. Okay though, cause you know what? I seen somebody put them in a um a mold and they watermelon came out looking like a, a monster face or something like that. I said that was pretty cool. But yeah, folks doing too much. Yeah, they be doing too much. I said it was cool though. They sitting up there looking like a little face. Like, who wants to cut a face? <laughs> but y'all, we're going to go ahead on and wrap this video up. Uh, we're going to pick it up tomorrow. We're going to take them in, let them, you know, sit and chill for a while. And then uh, we'll pick the video back up and bust a couple of open for y'all and do some little taste testing. And uh, that'll be it on the video. But guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And stay tuned. Hit that bell. Hit that bezel. Holla it back. <laughs> okay, so, we done bust one open. This ended up being the yellow meat watermelon. 
peaches already been tearing these watermelons up. So far, so good. Uh, these seeds came out of a yellow meat watermelon that we had last year. And it's so yummy. I can't wait to dig it. It right. came out of a um, watermelon that we had got um, last year. And I just replanted the seeds. And it gave us these little watermelons. So, I still got some seeds. So, we'll see next year if they be a little bit bigger. If I don't bunch them all up in the bed or whatnot. But, Peach is finna jump right on into it, y'all. Maybe it has yellow like that one, baby. Make sure y'all keep y'all seeds. We will. We will throw them in the garbage. Please don't. If we do, we don't have any. Go on, taste the pieces, because you the Wally Miller Queen. Time to dig it. She got to pick her seeds out, y'all, but they're going to be tearing their Wally Miller up. I think Mariana finna go ahead and buy hers. Video oh. is so sweet. It's sweet? Yeah. It tastes like the red ones? I told you it's similar. All right, family, logging off.